So, um, I am getting shocked on my feet to the point where my feet are curling involuntarily. I do not suffer from restless leg syndrome or anything like that. They are zapping my right nipple, and when I cover it, my the back of my hand is getting shocked. And they keep and they keep heating my face. So, so they keep heating. Uh, it's focusing really well. Okay. Um, so they're heating my face as well. And this noise back here, it's not normal camera noise. I can see that in my eyes. Now I don't know if that's the lens ant of the camera and my eyes being shocked and it looks fuzzy, so I don't really know if that fuzz is actually right there. But I had um, I had a couple of guests over here early on when I got this hotel room and they saw it. They saw the floor looking all fuzzy and they saw the wall looking fuzzy. Um, the best I can describe it is it's kind of like TV static. It's kind of like having one contact in and one contact out, except it moves. I literally can see this noise with my eyes. I shouldn't be seeing that. Right up here, that noise, I literally see that with my eyes. That is not something that a human being should see even in lower light conditions. I've got the stove light on, the TV's on, it's not completely dark in here. Um, but I see that with my eyes. I'm just pointing that out. Like the stuff on my face, if I look in the mirror, looks like this is all grainy. It looks like kind of like low light camera noise, perhaps. It is not. I can literally see that with my eyes. <laughs> um, any case, uh, they're still zapping my right nipple. That, that hurts. And uh, they're getting kind of, it's working its way over to the armpit a little bit. My hand is get, feeling it. Uh, they're also hitting my face with the, I call it the heat lamp attack, where it literally feel, it feels like my, heat's, uh, my head's under a heat lamp. My face feels cool right now. It's not hot outside, it's a nice weather. I think it's kind of cool now. Um, I've got the AC on, I think I set it to 65, but I think it's probably like 70 degrees in here, or 72 degrees in here. When I do this, I feel a warmth on my face. I didn't feel that before. The AC's not, the AC just kicked on, um, it's, I shouldn't feel a change in temperature. I can feel an electric, uh, a current running through my hand now, and my hand feels, I think, slightly warmer. Yeah, it, feel, it does feel warmer. And so they keep hitting that with my face because I don't want, I don't like having my head under the blanket usually, because I don't like that heat, I don't like the heat being all over my face. And they know that so when I lie down a lot of times they hit me like right around here and it feels like the breath that I'm exhaling is like like 20 degrees warmer and it's really annoying and it just feels like I've got like this pocket of hotness in front of my face and I can sit up and I can move across the room I can go somewhere else in the room I can move somewhere in the bed and it's instantly it's instantly cool it's instantly better so they're also zapping Max. There's Max right there. I probably can't see him very well. Hey, Max. Okay. So. Oh, if you can see Max. Can you see Max? Hey, Max. Hey, Max. camera. There he is. Good man. Hey, Max. He's a W. So, the last few days when he's been in the bed with me, they even said, like, we're going to attack, the, they're going to zap Max, and they're going to do it so that I put him, to try making put him across the room and separate him. They also told me when I got Max back from my sister out of the jail that, that uh, they were going to torture Max along with me if I didn't, um, if I took him instead of leaving him there. They say horrible things like that. They're saying horrible things now, and they have been all day long. I got you. I got you. I love you.